Where in the world is Keep Believing Ministries? Right now, you're in Southwest Philadelphia with New Hope Philly. My name's Bill Pruitt. This is my good brother, Soldier. We just wanted to drop by to tell you thank you for all that you do. We've been using your wristbands at large children outreaches. We've been supplying their parents with an anchor for the soul, and we've seen many men set free through the works that God has done in the healing power of forgiveness. Thank you for all that you do, and God bless you. My brother soldier's got something he'd like to say to you. God bless you. Hey, Dr. Ray, man, it's great to greet you and all our friends there at Keep Believing Ministries. Wanted to thank you for the use of the Anchor for the Soul books that I remember when you came to New York City after 9-11 and we gave away thousands of them to many hurting people. Thanks for driving all the way from Chicago with those. And then you sent us a bunch so we could use in our prison ministries here in New York where we've gone with our Bible Institute students and we've gone play soccer with them and basketball, gave away many of those books in those areas, and my wife's even used them while we've had uh, young people in her preschool from families that were non-converted. Many of those people took those books and were very thankful as well, so we've used them for the salvation of souls and have really been totally blessed by your ministry, and thank you so much for all you've ever done, and we pray that that'll still bring great fruit that will remain forever. Thank you and have a great day. God bless. Hi, Ray. Vern Martin here from Morris, Manitoba, Canada. And two things I appreciate about Keep Believing Ministries. Uh, one, for sure, is the is your sermons, Ray. I appreciate the illustrations that you give. I also appreciate that you uh, bring the Word of God to life in a very practical way. And that has uh, greatly enhanced my preaching. Uh, the second thing I appreciate about Keep Believing Ministries is your advice, Ray. When I need some pastoral advice, you're always uh, there to give it to me, and I've, I've always uh, followed it and really appreciated what you've had to say. So, Ray, God bless. God bless. Keep leading your ministries, and keep up the good work. Hi, we're Craig and Susan Smith from Salem, Oregon. Our church has in ministry the New Beginnings Baby Boutique for single moms in our community. We share the gospel and the good news of Jesus Christ to these ladies and their families. And when we do that, then we hand them a book, Anchor for the Soul. And we love that book. It has been a tremendous, tremendous resource for us. The, just recently, we had a couple come in, and, and the woman was having huge issues with her husband, who we gave a copy of Anchor for the Soul to. Uh, he was in, immediately incarcerated, read the book nonstop during his 20-day incarceration, came out as a believer in Jesus Christ and is now being discipled in the church. It's an amazing book. It's had huge uh, impact in our ministry, and we thank you guys so much for being so generous to share it with you. We love you. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Hi, Pastor Ray, the Keep Believing um, Ministries team. I, Ray had asked me just to share with you a little bit about what you know, your ministry has meant for me. Um, I usually live overseas. I've been a resident of Haiti for over 20 years. And um, even though I'm married to a pastor and we're involved in a big, in a, you know, very active ministry, one of the hardest things about living overseas is just finding um, truth on a regular basis. And that's one thing Keep Believing has meant for me. It's just almost daily, you know, almost any, everything that Ray sends out. Um, I just, it's encouraging, it's uplifting. I can count on getting an email with a good sermon you know, or a good message in it. And, um, and that's meant a lot to me over the years. I've been, a, you know, been blessed by both he and, he and Marlene. So thank you guys for what you do. I'll be seeing you soon when I get back to Haiti. Bye. I'm Peter Ganga. I serve with Word of Life Youth Ministry in Kenya. One of my biggest desires as a student of Scripture was to go to Dallas Theological Seminary. Unfortunately, it did not happen. But Keep Believing Ministries website has been a very important and relevant resource. I'm able to study to help those I work with, including pastors and youth workers in Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. 
highly recommend what King Believing Ministry is doing and all those who partner with this great ministry. Keep on doing what you're doing because it has eternal benefits, and no losses, only eternity will tell. Keep believing. Hey, it's Kemi. Hello. My name is Gerald and I'm from Albania, which is located in Eastern Europe. I was born in a Muslim family with strong tradition on it, and it's just amazing how God used an anchor for the soul to save and to make me known Christ. December 21st, and I still remember this day, when one of my friends received a gift from Moody Bible Institute, and this book was included inside, and he gave me to read it. And I was like, okay, let's practice some more English. But one beautiful day I decided to read it. And when I opened this treasure, everything changed in my life. Page 49. We all stand in exactly the same place. Created by God to know Him. Deeply fallen and greatly loved. And we all need the saving touch of Jesus Christ. Until now, I've read it more than 10 times this book. Every time that I read, I find something new on it. Thank you, Sir Preacher. Thank you, Keep Believing Minister. Keep going of what you are doing. And may God bless you as you serve Him. Bye-bye. Hello, Dr. Ray Pritchard and everyone at Keep Believing, uh, Ministry Board of Directors and all the friends of uh, Keep Believing. This is Benny Matthews. I'm with Alpha Ministries, a frontline mission working in North India. And uh, Dr. Ray has personally been a great blessing in my life. He has come, he has visited India, helped us with our ministry there in India by teaching, equipping our frontline leaders. And we are blessed to have this partnership, which is helping to build us, build our frontline leaders and build us. And personally, he has been a blessing with the website that I could steal a lot of materials as I remember one time Dr. Urban Lutz are saying, how do you prepare your sermons? Um, it's like going to five different cows and um, taking the milk from top five different cows and making your own butter. And uh, this Dr. Ray is one of my cows that I use all the time to study and personally get. And he's been a great blessing in my life and ministry that uh, he always is there for us as a family, helping us and lifting us up and even supporting us by sharing about us and the Word. And it's been a great blessing. Thank you so much, Dr. Ray and the Board of Directors of Keep Believing. God bless you. Thank you.
I'm Steve Nichols, Director of Word of Life Bible Institute here on Jeju Island in South Korea. We've been honored to have Ray Pritchard come and serve as a guest professor teaching our students the Word of God. The students come here to our school from all over Northeast Asia, or they're considering serving here, so they come in to study. Ray is one of the best communicators I know. Students still remember what he said and taught them months and years later. When they go back to Japan, Taiwan, Korea, and China, they share the truth and the passion that they caught from Ray. Ray and Marlene have impacted my life and my wife as well. The way I teach, the way we work with students. He's also impacted Jeju City, where only 2% profess to be Christian as he preached to them in the local church on Sunday. I just want to say thank you so much for giving Ray the freedom to use his 